501 and in the East Bay, Vice President Kamala Harris is going to be there launching a new program in Oakland. Yeah, uh, it's called the uh, Generation Fund and it's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to help end generational poverty. We have Crown Force Sarah Stinson standing by in Oakland to explain. Good morning, Sarah. That's right, a huge announcement right here in Vice President Kamala Harris's hometown of Oakland. She'll be joined by Libby Schaff to announce this generation fund. And let's talk about who this benefits. It benefits low-income families and babies into four years old. Take a look at your screen. You can see the fund will give a total of $50 million to support low-income students through 2035. And breaking that down, that's $500 college savings accounts will be made for all Oakland babies born within the next four years in low-income families. $1,000 annual scholarships for all low-income Oakland public school students while they are pursuing their college degree or trade certificate within four years. The Generation Fund will serve 30,000 students for the next generation, and this will this was helped put together by, May, by the mayor, Mayor Libby Schaff, community partnerships with a local school district and hundreds and hundreds of local and regional donors. The goal is to break the cycle of poverty by increasing college access and completion for those most underserved people in Oakland. Now this morning we will hear from Vice President Kamala Harris herself and we'll hear probably some personal stories as to why this generation fund is so crucial to making sure that Oakland not only survives but thrives. Now the event kicks off at 1015 and we will be right here for you so you can see all of it for yourself. For now, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Sarah. 502 is the time and Vice President Harris also made a trip to San Francisco Thursday to discuss reproductive rights. In a roundtable with other California leaders, she slammed the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade as well as other states that have banned abortions altogether. As a former prosecutor, for quite some time I specialized in child sexual assault cases and violence against women and children. The idea that states would be passing laws that would take from an individual their right to self-determination after they have endured such an atrocious act of violence is unconscionable. The vice president is expected to attend uh, another event today regarding commercial, uh, the commercial space sector. We're going to have full coverage of that event on Cron On.